Kyiv was the third largest city in the Soviet Republic, and despite the urgings of First Secretary Nikita Khrushchev that this great city would not fall, on September 19, 1941, German forces invaded. On September 28, uh, there was a special poster put on many, in many places in Kyiv, uh, demanding, or requesting actually, that all Jews living in Kyiv, and they don't call them Jews actually in this uh, announcement, they're using derogatory form, kikes, uh, have to gather at eight o'clock in the morning at a certain place, it's the intersection of two streets in midtown Kyiv, with their belongings, and uh, they didn't, of course, you know, mention in the, uh, this announcement poster that Jews would be taken to you know, extermination site. Naturally, man is built in a way that it's not very easy to believe that such events can occur. Um, when people hear about the Holocaust and Babi Yar, and when they don't have a personal connection to it, it's um, often very difficult for them to believe how such an event, how it's possible for such an event to occur. Um, so you, when you asked me the question, um, would they have tried to escape? Um, that's an absolutely normal uh, human reaction. Uh, if, they're, if they're being killed, they should have tried to escape. But um, the, the situation was just um, very unimaginable. And I think it's very important to remember today because today there are there is still hate in the world there's still hate towards Jews and I know that such an event has happened and it and therefore it can happen Perish Russian people perish Ukrainian people perish other people why we talk about Jews but only Jews were exterminated totally I mean Russian Ukrainian were killed on the front were killed those who come to guerrillas, partisans, but only among Jews were killed all people, including a few months old babies and including elderly people 85 years old. And from that point, Jews were led to an uh, uh, area where they had to undress, and it's a ravine, so it's, you know, when it comes to landscape, this was a very, let's say, convenient a location, you don't need to dig up anything, so the nature already did this for you. And this was an area where, again, according to the report, uh, later on supplied by, by killers, uh, 37,000 Jews were killed during the two days of massacre. All in all, Babi Yar, uh, Ravine and Babi Yar, consumed 100,000 uh, residents of Kyiv, I have taken part in, in, in commemorations of Babi Yar. Um, such commemorations, such um, ceremonies of memory, they have, they, have, they have occurred in Kiev. And now, since, since the year 2000, they also occur in Boston. So for 13 years here in Boston, I have gone with my, with my wife and with my son to commemorate Babi Yar on September 29th every year.